This video will show you how to switch the Ezra FreeCoaster Hub from cassette drive to FreeCoaster. The tools needed are an 8mm Allen wrench and a 21mm spanner wrench. Also, make sure you have the retention springs. To begin, completely remove your axle nuts and washers. Insert the 8mm Allen wrench into the non-drive side of the axle. On the drive side, loosen the 21mm cone nut beside the driver and completely remove the cone nut from the axle. Slowly wiggle and pull the driver off of the axle. The clutch disc and spring might still be in the hub. Remove the clutch disc. If the spring comes out, simply slip it back onto the axle and into the hub. Take the clutch disc and spacer and notice that there are two sides of the discs. Cassette mode, the ramps of the clutch disc should face toward the inside of the hub. When in free coaster mode, the ramps on the clutch disc should face towards the driver. Pop out the clutch disc spacer. Flip clutch disc to the free coaster mode with the ramps facing toward the driver and insert the disc spacer back into the clutch disc with the flange end facing the driver. Insert back into the hub making sure the spring and all components are in the correct position. Now let's take the driver and switch out the springs. It is best to do this one paw at a time so that there is no confusion. With your finger, remove the paw and spring. Now, insert the retention spring with the stopper touching the edge of the driver. The part that actually touches the paw will be pointing downward. Using your finger, pull the retention spring upward just enough to clear the paw and slowly reinsert the paw. Be sure that the spring is in the channel that is machined into the paw. Once the spring is in the channel, push the paw and spring in place. Notice that the paw will still slightly stick out of the driver. At this point, the paw should be held down against the driver. Repeat for the rest of the paws. After you repeated all the steps, make sure all the paws are facing the same way. Now carefully take the reassembled driver and slip it over the axle and slide it all the way back into the hub. You might have to wiggle and turn the driver into position because of the tight tolerances. Thread the cone nut back onto the hub. Tighten with the 8mm Allen wrench inserted into the non-drive side of the axle and the 21mm spanner wrench on the cone nut. Spin the hub and make sure everything is moving freely and make sure there is no rubbing or interference. Reinstall the wheel and you're on your way.